What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another edition of the Hurry Up. You're with Justin Henry here. And today we'll be talking about DeAndre Hopkins and the unfortunate six-game suspension uh, that's coming up for him this season and how it affects the rest of the Arizona Cardinals for fantasy. Unfortunately, uh, DeAndre Hopkins is going to be suspended for the first six games for breaking the PED rules. Uh, and so we're going to take a look at what that means for not just him, but also Kyler Murray and some of the other receivers on the team. So to begin, DeAndre Hopkins, it's unfortunate, but he'll be out for the first six games. So where does that leave us? Obviously, you have to knock him down just a little bit in your rankings, but DeAndre Hopkins is one of those players who, when he plays, is pretty consistent and a high-level elite talent. So you know what you're getting out of him. Just be prepared to have to be without him for a few weeks. And so I would knock him down maybe a round if you're going in, you know, for your drafts, um, about a round out, but not more than that. He's not a player that I would just discount for a long period of time because when he plays, he has the ability to impact your team in a tremendous way. So give me DeAndre Hopkins, knock him down a round, maybe two if you're feeling a little skeptical. But he's the kind of player you want around to have in your lineup in those fantasy playoffs. The next player I want to talk about is Kyler Murray. And we'll see a slight dip in his production, but it wouldn't be what you're imagining. Uh, losing DeAndre Hopkins for any quarterback is going to be a big problem uh, when it comes to fantasy production. But the acquisition of Hollywood Brown, Marquise Brown for that team, as we know now the reason why, is going to be a big boost for, for Kyler Murray. And he'll also be using his legs. He's the kind of quarterback whose value isn't just predicated on throwing the ball. He also runs the ball really well. And so I expect Kyler to not only use his legs, uh, but get his running backs and his other receivers involved. And Hollywood Brown is one of those receivers. So Kyler Murray, to me, if you want to drop him down, maybe a, a ranking or two on your quarterback list, that's fine. But he should still be able to hold pretty good value, especially since it's only for six weeks that DeAndre Hopkins will be out. Don't knock him down too far just because DeAndre's out. We saw Kyler Murray play uh, well even when DeAndre Hopkins wasn't playing. And last, I want to talk about the other receivers. Hollywood Brown, the big acquisition on draft day, and we see the reason why now the Arizona Cardinals knew they'd be without DeAndre Hopkins. So Hollywood Brown now steps into the wide receiver two, back end wide receiver two conversation uh, with upside for more. Any given week, we saw last year Hollywood Brown had stretches of games where he looked like a top five receiver any given week. So I would put him in the back end wide receiver two conversation with upside for more with the expectation that DeAndre Hopkins will be back six weeks into the season. So I think for the first six weeks, you'll get an elevated level of of uh, production out of, of Hollywood Brown, but make sure when around that six week mark comes, that five week marks, you're looking to trade them. That's somebody who you'll have to pay to trade for the high uh, when it comes to crunch time. So when you know D Hop is going to be on his way back, maybe be throwing a few offers out there and trying to maximize his value, but he should play very well in those first six weeks while DeAndre Hopkins is out. Rondo Moore should also see an uptick in targets, but he's not somebody you want to truly rely on in fantasy at this point in his career. Uh, we need to see a little bit more from him, but he's the next up in line, and so he'll be a valid wide receiver four on any given week uh, just because of the upside he carries. Let me know your guys' thoughts. What are you doing with DeAndre Hopkins? Are you you know, putting him down a tier? Are you still drafting him as normal? Or are you just avoiding him in general? And make sure to take, uh, take advantage of the offer below, and we'll see you on the next area.